Well, Santo, I'm gonna walk you through the house. I had a conversation with your Ema. It started Monday, December 11th. And it went through Thursday. And the concern that I had was why was I not being allowed to see you? I didn't know where you lived. I wanted to know why had I not received not a letter, not a phone call, that I would never do anything like that to her. That we always sent Ima messages and photos and videos. Notwithstanding, at the end of that conversation, went on for several days in, in terms of text messages uh, I was told that if I don't drop the RICO violations including but not limited to me having total knee replacement surgery without meds all because we told about the RICO that we uncovered in the hate crimes and so as a result, all those horrible things happened, including me not having access to you whatsoever for nearly five years. So I was told that if I want to see you, all I have to do is drop it. And don't release any of the evidence, make it all go away and start fresh. And my answer is, good Shabbos, Chandel Batsheva. Leah, Nicole, Rachel, and Sarah. Good Shabbos, everyone. So if Hashem's going to put me through all of this stuff, I mean, this is, this is not a coincidence. I mean, I want you to imagine that I married someone who didn't know she was a Jew, whose grandmother turned out to be from the same city as the Rebbe's father. Can you imagine? Can you absolutely imagine? So your grandmother was Jewish and from the same location. I didn't realize how much of a stir that would cause that a black guy would return. And by the way, most of the Jews in, my, in this community don't know I was here before. And I was in our show before most of them. Before the Torskis took that show over, I was there with the other Jews. And 10, 10 Holocaust survivors were the ones that taught me to read the Siddur. So no one expected that I would ever come back. And here I, I came back and all that stuff. I did not know that there was no way they wanted a black child to graduate from that school. And so with all the things that went on, I was just trying to be the best Tati I could be, the best husband I could be. I had no idea of what that all meant. Notwithstanding, Hashem continues to bless me exceedingly. And like I said, I'm not doing any popcorn until I see you next. But all your favorite candies are here and I have not thrown away anything of yours. And I bought you some new things. If God allows me to see you, Baruch Hashem, hallelujah. If not, I'm still gonna proceed with the RICO process. All of those people who have had all of these years that think that they've got away, now that I'm getting my memory back, I'm going through that two, those 20 gigs of clear and convincing evidence and it's called Recollection Refreshed. So I'm relearning what happened to me and why I didn't have a memory and all that type of stuff. But notwithstanding, there's not a time that I have not loved you. And your Tati is going to do all of those things that I promised. There ain't no such thing as a free lunch. So if evil thinks that I've lost my Yiddish kite, not, in a, not a drop. There's nothing that has happened to me that has made me 
lose my sense of of Yiddishkeit, my love for Hashem, and my Kavana. I've met some incredible, incredible Jews in my life, and some of them are famous, but they were all splendid and wonderful for me, so I'm not going to let some of those who don't think that there should be a black Hasidic Jew do anything other well so to everybody on the planet good Shabbos and to those who've done those horrible nightmarish things it's not going to be my word against yours. I have all those tape recordings, all those phone calls. I can demonstrate everything I said, and I'm going to do it if I never see my child again. I'm going to tell. So enjoy this Shabbos, because one day the FBI is going to be knocking on your door, and I'm going to talk about in great detail. There's a reason why Hashem had me graduate from two police academies, from the Wisconsin State Patrol and the Milwaukee Police Department. I I left because I wanted to pursue God, not knowing that God is the biggest police chief of them all. So all this time, Shemayin's been grooming me to stumble upon this, this RICO operation. Sheesh. Now we're standing I say Baruch Hashem to all of it. And I love you, sweetheart.